hello guys good morning <laughs> I'm back I've been away for a bit um, well not away away I wish I had you know lying on a nice uh, beach somewhere yeah, with handsome waiters bringing me cocktails and giving me foot massages but no no such luck um, just uh, as I knew I just knew it, I felt it that um, things were going to get a little bit um, intense yeah at the beginning of January we had that solar eclipse and then of course the 21st we've got uh, something going on like a blood moon a wolf moon something which sounds bloody intense uh, and I just think that it's it's um, par for the course it's like we have a saying in my country, the laatste loodjes weg in het zwaarste, and I feel very much that, oh, that that's what's going on. Like, getting rid of that last bit of shit and darkness and resistance um, before we can start, I don't know, vibrating at a higher level. Vibrating. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to um, to talk about you know the higher self because it seems to me well anyway for me I always used to get really confused about that because it was like the higher self whenever people talk about it the higher self is this um, imperious type of being that lives somewhere above the clouds looking down at you whilst you're on your knees begging for mercy um, you know just sort of like well I, I, I am your higher self and I'm so much better than you and you're down there and oh god oh you know so it, it's like a very wealthy person whilst you're down there working uh, I don't know as a toilet cleaner and your higher self doesn't really want to associate with you because you're just not quite good enough anyway I, I don't call it our higher self because I just don't feel that that is right. Um, I don't feel that this is how it is. It's not true. I call it our true self and our true self is all about love. Our true self is all about DIY soul retrieval. So the best way I can put it I suppose is Right, so let's say that your shadow self is Ricky, the crystal meth dealer, and he lives on the ground floor in a squat, and he doesn't like himself, uh, he has a problem with personal hygiene, bad skin, and um, he's under the control of this massive drug baron who funnels all his drugs and various other nefarious things. Uh, through Ricky's uh, apartment to other people and Ricky's just like a conduit you know really and doesn't really even know that because he's in a really bad state because you know his mother was an alcoholic and his father used to beat the shit out of him so that's Ricky for you and that's your shadow self and then your true self is this lady called Angel A or Angela who loves knitting lots of beautiful sweaters and baby booties made of iridescent colors and whatnot you know and who loves cats and who lives at the top floor of this this high-rise building that Ricky is at the bottom of and um, she takes an avid interest in Ricky because for some reason she just feels this overwhelming amount of love for Ricky because she sees Ricky because she knows that Ricky deep down is not a bad person he's just been through a hell of a lot of shit and really hates himself and that he's just being used by this evil drug baron you know for uh, nefarious purposes and she realizes that he needs a bit of help so you know Angela is up there and uh, doing her knitting and um, thinking of ways to, uh, to to rescue Ricky the crystal meth dealer and of course in the end she succeeds you know she keeps going down there and um, talking to him and uh, giving him little presents and sort of having a really good influence on him and it doesn't happen overnight but it goes on for several years and uh, you know Ricky starts to get a bit better he starts to wash every day for starters you know and he starts to eat better food and then he decides he doesn't want to be a crystal meth dealer anymore and some um, he tells that big drug baron where to go and 
oddly enough, this big drug baron just ends up having this terrible car crash and gets decapitated, so that's out of the picture. And, you know, Ricky just goes from strength to strength, but, you know, he has to work at it really hard. But, you know, he goes he goes and sees Angela every now and then, she cooks him this really nice dinner and knits him these really funky socks and soon, and you know, they sort of like look at each other and they realise that, hey, I found out I was adopted and Ricky goes, yeah, I was adopted as well. And they'd find out that they're actually brother and sister and they're deeply connected and they move into a really lovely home somewhere, you know, in, uh, I don't know, in California. And they grow oranges and uh, they're very, very happy and they have cats and dogs and a giraffe and a zebra and a donkey and um, they live happily ever after. I would say that's sort of a reasonable analogy of what is happening. Our true self is just never going to give up on our shadow aspects and our shadow aspects is really not just one person it's actually all these different aspects of ourself that have been captured by the darkness you know and that need to be retrieved and um, that's really what is happening at the moment and it's hard going because of course there's such resistance but See, the drug baron, this big fat guy with a Russian accent, you know, and this massive limousine with a swimming pool in the back, is uh, very, very busy making it really hard for us, you know, and so you get all these, these kind of people, organic portals often enough, that say things to you that are so inherently negative, like they, they like to repeat mainstream media memes, fearful memes. Um, so you get this stuff about Brexit, or you get this stuff about, um, you know, but whatever is happening, you know, about healthcare and about Brexit. Everybody talks about Brexit, it's driving me nuts. Or it's about, um, I, and it's always negative, right? It's always negative and it's always loaded typical virus is always loaded with fear and because we're so used to being afraid it's like a dirty bomb it poof and oh fear ah, ah. so we need to be aware of that because we are purging up shitloads of shadow and doing that work so what we do not need is uh, to allow ourselves to fall for that. So when we get these, I, I wouldn't even call them attacks as such, I suppose they are, but when you go about your life on a day-to-day -day basis and you're not feeling great anyway and you get these people showing up telling you these really negative fear-based things that hit, you need to be aware of that. And you need to use your inner defiance because that's virus that is virus and if you let it it will take root and it will make you feel so much worse and it takes days to get rid of it seriously I know from except from experience so find your inner defiance it's there and be aware of those mechanisms, you know, that fear uses, where it says, oh, you have to be afraid, that's the only way to stay safe, which is fucking bullshit. Oh, beep! I shouldn't swear, apparently, on YouTube. <laughs> um, so every time I'm going to say, now I say, beep! Anyway, so, yeah, it's... Because I had this happen to me yesterday. Somebody said to me about the whole Brexit thing that um, a hard Brexit will mean that all non-English citizens, all European non-English citizens will be forcibly ejected from Britain. Uh, you know, so I'll, I'll end up presumably, you know, homeless with no money in Amsterdam and I'm too old to go on the game, as you can see. So... Um, that sort of shit and it, it terrified it, the, the fear was like whoa and then it was like okay right stop stop because that is not where I want to go with that at all 
but there was that little mechanism, that little whiny crank voice going, oh, well, you have to be afraid. You have to think about this. You have to do something. You have to be afraid because if you're not afraid, it's going to happen. Manipulation, gaslighting, nasty shit, you know, typical crank. So, um, no, I'm not doing that. So then what happens? You search, you go within, you search, and you think, right, courage and defiance, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, 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 there it is. <laughs> right. Let it go. Allow yourself to let it go. Let it go. Is this likely to happen right now? No. What's, what's my intuition telling me about this? Ah, oh, it says everything's going to be fine. All right, cool. Thank you. And so forth and so on. Now, as you keep doing that, you'll feel your true self growing stronger within you, you know, because you're making that choice. And, and it is like that. We are at a crossroads. And I think we have been for quite some time. We have to choose love, the power of love, over fear and hate and rage. And we have to do that again and again and again on every layer where we encounter that shit within ourselves. You know, we mustn't give up and we must meet it with love and defiance time and time again. It has to be done. Because if we don't, we're just going to be sucked down the toilet um, of evil, <laughs> the evil toilet. I mean, you know, the, the, all these phantasmagorical horror stories of terrible things that are going to happen, especially for those of us who have quite a good imagination. Evil likes to use our imagination against us. And so, um, I mean, pfft. and so forth and so on, which brings me to something I've been noticing. Now, back in the day, I was quite a fan, well, of Star Trek and Stargate and all these, these, um, these programs, programs, round earth, bullshit, that's what I feel anyway, but you know, hey. Um, so, I'm on the internet the other day and there is that little channel, remember guys, I've told you about it before, Mr. MBB333. Great little channel. Actually, it's not that little. So it's a shit lot bigger than my little channel, actually. But it's a brilliant channel. I really like it, and I like him. Now, there's a video on there of a woman who was taking a photograph of um, something in the sky. I think it was a sun. And, uh, you know, one of these where you take picture after picture after picture. Right. Tick, 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 tick. And uh, guess what? There's a fucking Stargate up there. I mean, it looks exactly like the Stargates that they use in Stargate. <laughs> and um, then I came across some other clips on other channels where basically things are showing up in reality. Reality, stupid word. Things are showing up in the world, W-H-R-E-R-L-E-D, mm, yeah, the world, that have previously existed in films or games or books. I mean, I'm going to go down the shopping centre today, I'll probably find Hagrid wandering around, you know, with three-headed dogs and whatnot. Um, it's mad. It's mad. It's it's and it's it's tickling something inside of me, something that I've been playing with for a while, and something that keeps coming back to me, that says that we do honestly create our own reality, and that reality, reality, isn't real at all. It's forever morphing and changing and undulating contracting and expanding and going up and going down and whatnot. I've noticed this. Now, all of a sudden, it's beginning to correspond or respond to our imagination and or to other stuff. Now, as some people might say, oh, it's the Illuminati is doing that and so, you know, because some people, no matter what goes on, no matter what happens, for them, everything is always evil and evil always wins. Um, I don't know why they bother going on, actually. But for me, I don't see it that way. 
at all. I see that there are miraculous things of food and I honestly feel that reality is morphing, it's morphing, the field, the world is morphing and if we can imagine it, we can bring it into form. It's as simple as that. Well, maybe it, it's simple to say, but in practice, of course, it's harder. But you see, that's why we're going through all this shit. I'm feeling all this fear and this stuff because it's got to be cleared out so that we are then capable of bringing into form all the miraculous amazing stuff because we are magical beings and that's what we're here to do i know it anyway i'll post a link to that video below um because i want you guys to have a look at that and see what you you know what you think about that because it's all kicking off um annoyingly before you you get to see the video you gotta you gotta click on the uh the, oh, uh, that that Chinese ad, you know, like five thousand years of history um, of these dancing Chinese people. I mean, I fucking hate China. Beep 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 beep. Sorry, sorry. Beep. China is pure evil, and everything that is happening in that country is an abomination. Uh, and I hate that fucking beep ad. Oh, I mean, I. You know, honestly, it's, it's like this whole dance show. Do you, do you remember the river dance, the Irish, you know, the river dance? I'd rather sit through a hundred of those than to go to one of these Chinese things. Or, in fact, I'd rather have brain surgery by bears in a cave. Anyway, I mean... Yeah, it, it's not easy for us to stay in the light. Because a lot of us Phoenix people have been through, subjected to such tremendous darkness and we are living in it. You know, you get these people, you know, these films and books sort of over the last decades um, that, you know, go on about ooh, the, 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 the dystopian future, you know, and whatnot. And I'm like, dystopian future? What are you talking about? We're in dystopia. This is dystopia. You know, we're in it. Look around you people. Wake up. Um, I think we're surrounded by it every day and we've been subjected to its nefarious doings throughout our lives and we know it well. But there is a reason for that. Come on, people. Know thine enemy. We know the enemy. We know the enemy very well, very well, very well. And therefore, we are able to fight that defiance within ourselves. And to say, you know what, I'm going to allow myself to let this shit go. Yes, I can. And feel that love, loving defiance. I mean, some people find it easy, it seems, to do that. But I reckon those are people that haven't really dealt with their shadow at all. Their shadow is so deeply buried. It's like that um, that place somewhere in Virginia, I think, where they keep looking for this supposed pirate treasure that's buried there, but nobody ever finds it, and they just dig and dig and dig, but it's, well, I don't know, but it's a bit like that. <laughs> I mean, these people have shadow, but they've never even come across it, really. They don't even realise they have it, and they're, they're just sort of operating on that level. And it's like, oh, it's so easy and to be happy, and who? But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about having faced your shadow, still facing your shadow on a daily basis, still facing the nefarious dark generator attacking you and using your shadow against you. Mm. That shit. And staying defiantly in the light and loving yourself anyway, because that is what we need to do now. And we need to start using our imagination to bring into form the world we want to see. So not like some people who go on about, well, the system is broken and we need to replace the system with a better system that works for everybody. Because that's just bullshit. Fuck the system. We don't want systems. Systems are prisons. They're matrixes. And we don't want that at all. We don't want to live in a world where 
it dog eat dog where animals hunt and kill and eat each other where we have to eat three square meals a day and drink eight bottles of water and have christmas and pay our taxes fuck that Yo, beep 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 fuck that beep we don't want that at all. We want to live in a beautiful, flowy, amazing world. We want to live in a world... Well, I mean, do you remember that film? Um, what was that film again? Oh. I can't remember. But, you know, the tall blue people in these amazing... On another planet and the humans go there and try and fuck it up. Beep! Uh, but they don't succeed. I mean... We want to live in a magical paradise, which, which is what we used to, where we used to live, where we come from, where we originated, and we're here to make that come back, to bring it into form. That is the quest. Um, none of this, like, oh, the world will probably stay pretty much the same and, you know, but we'll just be a little bit better because that might be all right for them, but they'll have to go somewhere else and do that because uh, I, for one, am not happy with that at all. I think that's utterly awful. Um, It's actually quite early, you know, it's really early. I woke up because the cat wanted feeding and it wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna settle for me staying in bed. Cause he just, you know, won't let me at all. Cats are really good alarm clocks. Anyway, so yeah, it's, it's still tough going. So loving defiance as much as, as you can. I mean, it's very confusing, I know, when you're under attack, when darkness attacks, it's very... It makes you go foggy, have you noticed that? It, it All of a sudden, you're not able to access the, the, the higher realms, the distilled essence, the, you know, your intuition. It's, a, oh, oh, it, it's hard going, I know, I know it is. So, gently, gently does it, but just keep going within and find that loving defiance and um, it is there and we can do that um, and check out that Mr. MBB333 Stargate thing because I kid you not man it's amazing I love it um, it's just crazy times. I mean, the world is not behaving the way it used to. Everything is weird and I'm good with that. Oh, yes, yes. Ultraviolet, ultraviolet skies. That's also on his on his YouTube channel. So go and check that out. Um, all around the world, we have ultraviolet skies. Mm. I came across that first on the YouTube channel of some born-again Christian who reckoned it was demonic. Like I said, these people see demons everywhere. I mean, they have a good dump and they think, oh, there's demons coming out of my arse. Um, it's, it's, it's beautiful and it's amazing and I think it's very meaningful because I looked up ultraviolet and it's definitely wonderful and of the light. Whereas infrared, and there were a few infrared skies as well they didn't look very good at all it was like uh, um, yeah violet skies amazing amazing truly amazing so but that that's on that YouTube channel I mentioned as well so um, yeah go and have a look at that <laughs> mm, I think that's it for today I think it is um, as far as 2019 is concerned, I mean, I could be completely wrong, but my intuition is generally pretty good and on target. And it, despite it being pretty heavy going this month so far, I, th I had this feeling about January, February and March being a bit iffy and whatnot. Yes, but it's... 
I, I do maintain this because I feel this because every time I do a card reading or the synchronicity speaks to me as well it's all about mastery which is not a word I like particularly but you know my vocabulary I mean it's all there but I can't access it you know it's a little bit foggy in here it's all about learning how to become really good at creating bringing into form the reality that we want which is paradise which is you know which is a world that that we've only ever really seen uh, in the cinema in fantasy and this is why they do that you see because they show you that um, so that you think oh well, that's not real that's fantasy but it is real it is real it's not fantasy well it's fantasy but fantasy is real if you can imagine it it's real this stunted world groaning under the weight of oppression and brutal abuse is fading and it's malforming now it's good it's it's malfunctioning sorry malforming malfunctioning whatever we are here to bring paradise back to heal this to heal it you know um and that's i suppose i'll conclude with that today to say that Pivotal to it all is forgiveness, you know, forgiveness of self. Yes, we haven't really done anything wrong that we, you know, there's no kind of like um, condemnation or anything, but forgiveness is letting go. Forgiveness is saying, you know what, yes, I did do this and I did do that and I did get it really badly wrong, but it was because I was so deeply wounded and messed up. So I'm um, letting that go now it's all right i'm gonna stop punishing myself now we do that for ourselves we, let's also try and do that for the world around us because the more we hold on to condemnation to judgment to hatreds that sort of shit well we're anchoring all that into this world then and actually bringing about more shit basically stopping this world from healing if we want to see healing transformation and magic fantasy made real then forgiveness is very important so we need to do that now okay and forgive ourselves forgive those around us but defiance loving discernment at all times walking away from people and places and situations that feel wrong very important well you know you know all of this anyway you people I don't need to tell you any of this because you already know so um, yeah help Angela to go down and uh, spend some time with Ricky and look after him <coughs> I wish you all a good day and look after yourselves stay in the light as best you can all right we don't always manage it but we just do the best we can that's all that's required it's always good enough take care of yourself 